Hi. How to find the nth root of a complex number using 991 ES plus calculator? Here students assume Z is a complex number represented in rectangular form as Z equals to X plus iota Y. Now R is equals to root of X square plus Y square is the modulus of the complex number. And theta equals to tan inverse of Y upon X is the argument of the complex number. Formula to calculate nth root. To find the nth root of the complex number, we will use the following formula. Nth root of z is equals to nth root of r, argument theta plus 2k pi whole divided by n, where k is equals to 0, 1, 2 till n minus 1. For square roots, n is equals to 2 and k is equals to 0 and 1. For cube roots, n equals to 3 and k equals to 0, 1 or 2. For fourth roots, n is equals to 4 and k equals to 0, 1, 2 or 3. So on and so forth. Finding the square root. Suppose we need to find the square roots of z equals to 3 plus 4 iota. Then we should identify that n is equals to 2 and k equals to 0 or 1. So we can say r equals to root of 3 square plus 4 square, that is root of 25, which is equals to 5. And theta equals to 10 inverse of 4 upon 3, which is equals to 0 0.9274 radians up to 4 significant figures. Now for k equals to 0, we will calculate the first root, that is z1 equals to root of 5, argument theta plus 2 into 0 into pi, whole divided by 2, which will give us 2 plus iota as the first root. Now for the second root, k equals to 1, and we will write z2 equals to root of 5, argument theta plus 2 into 1 into pi, whole divided by 2, which will give us minus 2 minus iota. So these are the two roots of 3 plus 4 iota. Finding the cube roots. Suppose we need to find the cube roots of complex number z equals to 8. Then we should identify that n is equals to 3, and k equals to 0, 1 or 2. Now r equals to root of 8 square plus z square, which is equals to root of 64, which is equals to 8. And theta equals to 10 inverse of 0 upon 8, which is 0 radians. Now for the first root, k equals to 0. So we will write z1 equals to cube root of 8, argument theta plus 2 into 0 into pi whole divided by 3, and it will give us the first root as 2. For the second root, k equals to 1. So we will write z2 equals to cube root of 8, argument theta plus 2 into 1 into pi, whole divided by 3, which will give us the second root as minus 1 plus root 3 iota. Now for the third root, k equals to 2. And we will write z3 equals to cube root of 8, argument theta plus 2 into 2 into pi, whole divided by 3, which will give us the third root as minus 1 minus root 3 iota. So these are the three cube roots of the given complex number. Now coming to finding the fourth roots of a complex number. Suppose we need to find the fourth roots of z equals to minus 8 minus 8 root 3 iota. Then n is 4 and k equals to 0, 1, 2 or 3. Now r equals to root of minus 8 whole square plus minus 8 root 3 whole square, that is root of 256, which is equal to 16. Theta equals to 10 inverse of minus 8 root 3 whole divided by minus 8, which is equals to minus 2 pi by 3 radians. Now for the first root, k equals to 0, and we will write z1 equals to fourth root of 16, argument theta plus 2 into 0 into pi whole divided by 4, which will give us root 3 minus iota as the first fourth root. Now for the second fourth root, k will be equals to 1, and we will write z2 equals to fourth root of 16, argument theta plus 2 into 1 into pi whole divided by 4, which will give us 1 plus root 3 iota. For the third root, k will be equals to 2, and we will write z3 equals to fourth root of 16, angle theta plus 2 into 2 into pi whole divided by 4, which will give us the third fourth root as minus root 3 plus iota. Now for the fourth fourth root, we will write k equals to 3. And hence, 
So z4 equals to fourth root of 16, argument theta plus two into three into pi, whole divided by four, and hence the fourth root will be minus one minus root c iota. Now we will tell you how to calculate these roots using your 991 ES plus calculator. Hello. Dear students, to calculate these roots using your 991 ES plus calculator, first of all, what we will do, we will press the shift button, then we will press the mod button, and we will choose the fourth option, that is the radian mod. Then we will press the mod button, and we will choose the second option, that is the complex option. Now to find the root of three plus four iota, we will enter three plus four iota. So we will press three and then four iota. For iota, we will press this engineering button. Now we want to store this complex number. So for this purpose, we will press the shift button, then the store button, and then we will press this A button. So hence, our complex number three plus four iota is stored in E. Now to verify that we correctly saved our complex number, we will press alpha button, and then we will press this A button. And then we will press equal to button. And you can see that we calculated, uh, we saved the A as three plus four iota. Now, if we directly compute root of C plus four iota, so what happens that we get a math error. Or if we write like root of A, even then we get a math error. Now, some students think that the calculator is not capable of calculating uh, these roots. But this is not true. In actual, to calculate these roots, we need to follow a certain algorithm. So how can we calculate these roots? So what we'll do, we will press the root button. Then we will press this shift and then this absolute that is the modulus button. And now we will write A, so we will press alpha and then this A button. Now we will use cursor to uh, become outside of this root symbol. And then we will write this argument button. Now we will open three brackets. And then we will press shift. And then this two button. And here we will choose this argument option that is option number one. Now we will write A again because we need to calculate argument of A. Then as you know, in the formula it was theta plus two K pi divided by N. So since for the first root, k is 0, so we will write 2 into 0 into pi, that is 0. Then we will close the bracket. Then we will divide it by 2, since it is the second root or the square root. Then we will close this bracket and press the equal to button. So you saw we got the same answer, the same first square root of the complex number three plus four iota. Now to get the second root, we will move the cursor back. And since for the second root k was equals to one, so it was two into one into pi, that is two pi. So in place of zero, we will write two pi. And then we will press this equal to button. And you can see that we 
got the second root that is minus 2 minus iota very easily. Now coming to the cube root question, as did earlier, we calculated the cube root of 8. So now we write 8, then we press equal to button. Now we store this 8 into our A. Now to confirm that 8 is stored, we will press alpha and then A button. So yeah, uh, this is 8. So now to calculate the cube root of this complex number 8, we will follow the same procedure. That is, first of all, we will press the cube root button. Then we will press this modulus button. Inside the modulus, we will write A. Then we will bring this cursor outside of the third button, outside of this third symbol, root symbol. Then we will press this argument button. Then we will open three brackets. And then we will press shift and then this two button to choose the argument. We will press one. And then we will again write A for argument of A. Then we will close this bracket. And again, for the first cube root, it is two into zero into pi. So we will add zero in it. Then we will close the bracket. And since it is the cube root, so we need to divide it by three. So we will divide it by three. Then we will close the bracket. And now we will press the equal to button. And you saw we got the same first cube root as we got in our slides. Now for the second cube root, we will simply change this zero into two into one into pi, that is two pi since k is 1. So for the second cube root, it is 2 pi. So when, when we will put this 2 pi and press the equal to button, you can see that very easily we got the second cube root. And the same manner to get the third cube root, since it is 2 into 2 into pi, that is 4 pi. So in place of this 2 pi, we will write 4 pi, and then we will press the equal to button. And you can see that we got the third cube root. Now finally, to find the four roots of the complex number, that was minus 8 minus 8 root 3 iota. First of all, we will save this complex number minus 8, minus 8 root 3 iota. So again, to store this number, we will press the shift button, then the store button, then we will press E, and then we will press equal to button. Now to confirm that we correctly save the complex number, we will press alpha, then we will press the A button, and then we will press equal to. So you can see that we saved the correct complex number. Now to find the four roots of this complex number, we will repeat the same procedure, but this time we will not take the cube root. Rather, we will press this shift button and then this x power button so that we can take the fourth root. So after changing it into four to make it the fourth root, we will again press shift and then this absolute button for modulus. Then for alpha, we will press, uh, for A, we will press alpha and then this A button. Then we will again bring our cursor outside of this root symbol. Then we will press this shift and angle button. That is the argument button. Now we will open three brackets again. Then we will press this shift and then the complex mod, and then we will choose again the argument. And again, we will write A in this argument. We will close the bracket. And again, for the first fourth root, since K is 0, 
So it is two into zero into pi, that is zero. So we will add zero and then we will close the bracket and since it is the fourth root, so we will divide it by four. Then we will close the bracket and hence we will press the equal to button and you can see that quite easily we got the first fourth root. Now to get the second fourth root, since we know that k is one, so it is two into one into pi, that is two pi. So in place of zero, we will write two pi and then we will press the equal to button. And you can see we got the second root, which is the same root we got in our slides. Now for the third, fourth root, obviously since k is two, so it is two into two into pi, that is four pi. So we will write four pi, and then we will press the equal to button and you can see we got the third, fourth root. And finally to calculate the fourth, root what we will do we will replace this four pi with six pi since k is three and you can see that we got the same fourth root that we got in our slides so no matter you need to calculate the square root cube root fourth root or fifth root uh, your calculator is capable of doing this and it's quite an easy job nothing to worry about so uh, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.